Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Aaron with U-Haul. We have the NO Tire Hold 4 bike rack here. This is a very durable and easy to use bike rack that can haul up to four bikes for your friends and family to your next ride. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of its features. So let's start by showing you how to install this on your vehicle. This is a big and heavy bike rack. It weighs 85 pounds, so it does take a little bit of concentration to line it up with your hitch receiver. Now it comes with a two inch shank, so it will only fit vehicles that have a two inch hitch receiver. To install this on your vehicle, we're just gonna line up our shank with our hitch receiver. And then we're gonna push it until our pinholes line up. Now that we have our pinholes lined up, we're gonna take our included screw in pin with our flat washer, and we're just gonna screw it in all the way on one side. Now once we have it tight, we're gonna take our included cotter pin, and we're gonna put it in on the other side. So even though we have our pin in and have this in place, it's still not very stable. So to tighten it up so it doesn't move, we're gonna remove this knob right here using our provided key. Once we have it off, you'll see that there's this little notch in here that we're going to use our knob to turn. Now we're just gonna turn it till it tightens up. And once it gets tightened on, we'll go ahead and lock it into place. So once you have that locked on, you can see that it's a lot more secure and stable since it's tightened into the hitch receiver. So let's start by taking a look at the different positions that we can put this bike rack into. It comes in this upright position, which makes it really easy and compact when you're hauling it around town, since it doesn't stick out very much. Now, if you wanna move it to the next position, you're gonna pull up on this handle right here on the top, and we're gonna let it drop till it clicks into place. Now, this is a slightly angled position, so when you don't have any bikes on, you can get into your cargo area, but this generally works better if you have a hatchback or a trunk, as the tailgate won't be able to drop all the way. Now, to get to the next position, we'll pull on this again, and we'll let it click into place into our loading position, which is nice and flat. Now this is where we will install our bikes, and if you don't have any bikes on, it'll let you get into your cargo area no matter what kind of trunk or hatchback or tailgate that you have. Now our next position, and we're just gonna let it drop all the way down, it's not gonna click into place, but this position comes in real handy when you have bikes on it already loaded, as it'll let you get into your cargo area with everything loaded onto your bike rack. So let's go ahead and pull it back up. So this is a platform style bike rack, which means the wheels on your bike will sit on these platforms and it will be secured by these arms. To pull up on these arms, you're gonna push on the silver button on the side and it'll allow you to pull this up and then this will be secured over your wheel till it's nice and tight. Now, depending on your wheel size, you can adjust this cover. You can pull down on it and then out and this will let you adjust it to your wheel size to get a nice and secure fit. So you'll just line it up with the notches and you'll just push in and then up. That way you can match it up with your wheel size. Now this bike rack can hold up to four bikes with each bike weighing up to 60 pounds with a total weight capacity of 160 pounds, which is generally more than what a normal bike rack can hold. Now for the width of this bike rack, you can hold a bike with the wheelbase of 34 to 48 inches. And for our arms, you can have a tire width of up to three inches for your bike. Now that we've gone over some of its features, let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to put a bike on. Now we always wanna load heavier in the front, so we're gonna get the front ready by pulling back on both of our arms. And then we're gonna go get our bike. So we're gonna take our bike and we're gonna rest it on our platform. And once we have it into place, we're gonna take our arm on one side and we're gonna secure it over the tire and that will hold it into place now, once you have your arm over the tire, you can't pull back on it so it won't come loose. The only way is to push on that silver button and pull it back to release it. So that's how easy it is to secure your bike onto this bike rack. So with the bike on, let's go ahead and put it into our last position. And you can see that it tilts down enough where even with a bike on, you can get in and out of your cargo area. So now let's go ahead and show you some of its security features and how you can lock it into your bike rack. So to secure your bike to your bike rack, it comes with this bike cable. We're just gonna loop it around our down tube. 
We're gonna loop it through the hole and we're gonna get it nice and tight. And then we're going to drop it down near our locking knob. Now, once you've dropped your cable, we're going to remove this locking knob. And once you remove it, you can see we have this little notch in there. We're gonna take the other end of our loop and we're gonna put that cable in that notch and we're gonna lock it right back onto our bike rack. That way no one can remove our bike from our bike rack. So that wraps up the Inno Tire Hold 4 bike rack. As you could see, it was very durable and easy to put your bikes on, which makes it a great option for your friends and family to haul your bikes to your next ride. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to take a look at one, you can visit your closest U-Haul center, or you can visit us online at uhaul.com. Thank you.